Hey there, everybody. This is episode five. Uh, we're enjoying our beautiful little rising moon right now. Um, thing I'd like to point out about this moon is um, I don't know how many people know about the waxing and waning of a moon in Minecraft, but uh, the easiest way to remember it is that just like the way that we read, we go from left to right. So. The light or the darkness in this case on the moon will move from left to right across the moon. So this is the phase of our moon directly before we move into the full moon. And so for this full moon, I would really love to go out and since around here we can't really see any swamps, um, I would love to go out and find a swamp during our full moon tomorrow night. So. I'm already mostly set up for the adventure for that, and I'll show you guys what that is for. I'll show you the little preset up here in a second, and uh, then we'll see what we are actually going to build at the end of this episode. But anyway, I'm just kind of chilling over here on the trees, so I'm going to go ahead, run over here, and sleep real quick, and I will catch up with you guys in just a sec. Oh god. Oh god. There's a creeper outside. Creeper outside. Oh shit. Not what I wanted to do. Now Creeper's gonna come to my house. Whoa, buddy. I didn't know that they would. Yeah, you're freaking out now. I didn't really know they'd take a fall like that. But anyway, so we had Creeper outside. Anyway, we're down outside of our beautiful little tree house here. Um, this cactus here, if you're wondering what this is here for, it's because it is a very useful little trash can, so you just just huck a block in there. Oh, that one missed. So you just huck a block in there, and it'll automatically destroy itself. So, that's pretty nice. Um, this is just a little pre-setup, something to give myself an outline for our little project that we're going to do when we do get back from the swamp here. Which, speaking of which, since our sun is rising, and I don't have an extra bed with me because I left my last one in the desert. What were you thinking, man? What were you thinking? Uh, but we're going to try and set out as soon as possible here. So I do have plenty of swords because I am going slime hunting. We're going to be in the swamps. Uh, full moons also mean that... Uh, a lot of... I'm just going to head this direction. I'm going to head towards our beautiful little rising moon because we do have... I mean, it's Savannah over here and I want to go to towards a colder spot to find a swamp. Plus, we have pigs right here. and We have some cows over there that I saw. So, I want to go this way because I'm also going to kill any animals that we see along the way because I'm running off of apples here, guys. Um... Where I put that little preset up, uh, I actually destroyed my entire birch forest to do that. So, uh, what, what does that have to do with anything at all? Oh, so, I mean, I got some apples from that, but, uh, God, freaking leaves all floating on water. Just to kill a pig. But, so... I'm running on apples, guys. I, I need some more food. And that's kind of what this whole adventure is going to be for. I'm going to go around, we're going to kill some animals, and we're heading to the swamp to uh, get some slimes, because once we have slimes, we can we can make some, some, uh, some leads. And we'll drag some animals together. Uh, I have been during the time that I was destroying my beautiful aspen forest, uh, what was I doing? Oh, I have been collecting, sorry, I'm a little spacey right now, guys, a little bit spacey, but I have been collecting a lot of wheat and a lot of wheat from my farm over there, so I have plenty of wheat, um, I haven't been making that to bread, I am saving it to, uh, to spawn animals, because I just feel like meat is better. Uh, I'm a carnivore. It's the sad and ugly truth. All these little pigs have to die. Every single one of them. Because um, that'll give me plenty of meat, and that'll be good for a while. I'm hoping uh, we can score lots of meat from this adventure. Come back here, pig. Come back here. Uh, 
so that's going to be goal one, and then, I mean, we'll have leads, which is really great for anything eventually. Uh, within the next few episodes, I do want to, nothing massive, absolutely nothing massive, but I do want to make a small but useful iron farm. Um, I have been watching a lot of videos by Mumbo Jumbo. So, his channel will be in the link below, but he has got lots of really awesome compact tutorials for us to do. Uh, anything and everything that's going to be useful to us, really. Um, that, and a lot of Cub Fan, which uh, is where I got the beautiful, beautiful cactus trash can idea from. Uh, is from one of his latest uploads. Look at this. Look at this. We're in a beautiful, beautiful flower flower biome. I haven't, I don't think I've really been in one of these yet. I think I may have run across one or two while just kind of exploring 1.7. Uh, point two. But I don't think I've found one in this world at all. So, beautiful little flower biome we have here. And apparently I'm taking some home with me. Oh, pig. I kind of blame myself for that. But, yeah, so also been watching Cub Fan. He's got also a lot of great tutorials. He's got a very nice survival series that he's been working on. But I don't think he's got enough attention. So any of you guys that are here, his channel will be in the link below along with Mumbo Jumbo. Uh, check their stuff out. They, find, they make a lot of awesome stuff. Lots of great inspiring ideas from those guys. Um, but... For today, we are going to be doing a couple things I saw from Mumbo Jumbo. So, this flower biome just kind of goes on and on forever. It's kind of nice. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Cut across here. Hopefully, we'll find something in this direction after not too long. Some chickens over here. Let's remember that. Don't think I have any chickens by my house. Um, uh, oh, a little bit of lag. Oh, look at that. I found some pump. Oh, wow. I, I just now looked at all my hunger. Apparently, I've been, been blowing off some steam here, guys. Uh, I do believe those are our first pumpkins for this series, so... We'll shoot off some fireworks when I have fireworks for all that. Um, I am going to kill these sheep because uh, what a pain in the butt. What a pain. Falling down waterfalls and stuff. So, I am going to kill these sheep just because it's always nice to have a bed if you need a bed. Plus, I really need one for when I go on these kinds of adventures and whatnot. Kill this guy and one more. Won't sacrifice any more than we have to. That should be all we need. Um, ba boom. We're up here. But anyway, so I mean, those leads will be helpful for many a great reason. Uh, leading some villagers around, and hopefully using those to set up a small but useful. Uh, iron farm, I do believe. Actually, the iron farm may not have been Mumbo Jumbo, uh, but what I will be doing here later in this episode, which I'm sure you can guess if you really do think about it, is a Mumbo Jumbo design. So, uh, we'll get to work on that towards the end of the episode, and like I said, here in the next few episodes, um, we will work on making an iron production, uh, iron golem farm, essentially, and I want to, we'll probably go over to our desert, I want to explore a little bit more of our desert, I feel like I, I haven't explored enough of that desert, there's already a small little NPC village, I'm, I'm hoping we can find at the best, hoping we can find a temple over there, hidden pig, I see you now, but I'm hoping we can find a temple over there, oh, I didn't even, I didn't even catch this, so, we've got a beautiful little roof forest, I just, I just kind of came across here, I've been distracted by the pigs this whole time, um, nice little 
hit. Um, but yeah, hopefully there will be something, something better in our desert over there. So I'll make an episode of exploring that desert as well. Kind of in like the exploring mood. We got our house set up, so now I want to know what's all around here. Look at that. Our sun is already about to set. So I already got a crafting table, and I do have a furnace to uh, smelt some of this meat. So I do have some food once we do get to the swamp. So I'm going to cook some of that. I'm going to throw down my crafting table real quick. I'm going to make a bed. And I'll catch you guys in the morning. Um, hopefully nothing too exciting happens over here. I will catch it. Um, I'll leave my recorder on for just a little amount that I'm going to take to sleep here. Just in case something exciting happens. But otherwise I'm just going to jump to that little clip. Um, I'll tell you what, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to destroy a couple of these trees because I'm a man of contrast. I really love me some contrast and since um, a lot of our house and our wheat farm is out of the lighter things like sandstone and our uh, aspen wood, which I am just, I'm officially just going to call it aspen wood from now on. That's what I've always thought of it as. That's what I'm going to call it as because I'll probably screw it up more times if I don't, if I try to call it birch. Um, but so I'm going to destroy a couple of these trees, get myself at least four saplings so I can bring one home, and hopefully we can start expanding using some of that so I have a couple different colors of wood. But yeah, anyway, I will catch you guys in the morning, and wait, is this, there's, is that lily pads? Hey, look at this, okay. Since it is full moon, I guess I'm just going to say screw this roof forest for now. And we're actually, we're just going to run. I completely forgot about the full moon. Uh, I got distracted, and like I said, I got distracted in the pigs. It's not a good thing to happen. I'm all caught up in the pigs. Whoa! Got a nice black stallion over here. Couple black stallions. Nice little spotted sucker. Um, nice. So we do have some horses over here, let's remember that. Um, towards our rising moon, we do have horses. I completely forgot about the full moon though. Like I said, I think I got dis too distracted in the pigs. And so yeah, we're definitely going to, we're gonna enjoy this swamp here while we can. I guess I am just gonna head towards these creepers. Um, they won't do too much damage. They'll come into the water after me, I'm sure. Right about this lily pad. Oh, oh, I got one of them. Look at that. One at a time. They know they're not worthy to face me at the sea. Yeah, that's what I thought. So that kind of hurt. I don't have... Oh, shit, zombie. What? Alright, I don't think baby zombies should be allowed to swim. He can't even stay above the water. He should not be allowed to swim. Blow up. Blow up. I already took some damage. Just blow up. I'll get on the Alright. So we are at like half of our health. It's kind of a risk I'm willing to take. I just want to try and get over to land. Because fighting mobs in water really is just a pain. Gonna have to go get meat at some point. Really hope we can find some slimes before that. That is the main goal. What is this? Roof forest again? I want swamp. I don't want roof forest. The skeletons will shoot me. The skeleton does not like me. Ah! I'm already damaged enough, bro. Can't you see this? Shoot that spider. I want you to shoot the spider skeleton. Why is he still following me if he can't shoot me? I feel like they should give up right about then. So I'm gonna try and run. Run around this way. Oh, oh, there's the skeleton. Hey, is that a slime ball? It's a slime ball. I'm just gonna go It's not worth it. That's Minecraft trying to sucker me into killing myself. Screw you, spiders. 
So I just want to find some slimes. Oh, I'm a spider. Creeper. Okay. The skeleton's gonna get me killed. Alright. We're just gonna run away. I'm just gonna run from that stupid... Is he still following me? Ah. <sighs> Leave me alone, skeleton. Okay, so I want to eat. Um, so I'm pretty sure you did not used to have the ability. There are so many skeletons over here. I need to just. I need to regenerate. Go over to this lily pad. Fight off this zombie. Right Get back, skeletons! After me. Oh my god, I'm so close to dying, guys. Oh. This is so terrible. Oh. oh! That was crap, guys. It was such crap. Oh. What was I thinking? I'm not even going to have time to pull this off now. What do I need? I need lots of wood. I'm gonna sleep for now. Okay, guys. Well, I completely and utterly screwed that up. I was really hoping to be able to get slimes during that full moon, but apparently I just got completely obliterate, obliterated by other animals. So what I'm gonna do here real quick is I'm gonna stock up on some more items. Stupid zombie, get away from me. I'm gonna stock up on some more items and... I'll catch you guys here in uh, another few moments. <sighs> this is terrible luck so far. Hopefully we have better luck in this next night. So I'll catch you guys here in a moment. Alright guys, well I'm setting out with even less supplies than before. And I'm pretty glad I stuck all of my meat into that furnace all the way over there before I went on the run. Because I'm going to need it when I get there. Some stupid spider. I hate all hostile mobs right now. They're just, they're ruining my day. So I'm going to run all the way back over here again. Uh, hopefully I can find the exact same spot. Uh, we'll get our meat. We'll get all set up. And uh, so I will catch you guys when I'm back over there. Okay guys, so we managed to find our crafting table and furnace, so we're going to go ahead and eat up some of this meat here real quick. really wish I hadn't just taken that all out. Uh, I'm going to destroy some blocks here, just so I can make a quick chest. So... Just want to stick all of my food in here so that if I do die, I don't know why I made that. So that if I do die, I don't lose it all. So we're gonna go see if we can still catch our items in time. Uh, I just put all of that food in there. God, I'm so retarded sometimes. I just that's a that's a harsh word I know, but sometimes I really am. I just don't think before I act. It's ridiculous. So hopefully I can go out here and try to find all my last items. Uh, something I realized along the way, uh, which I did cry the whole way for, uh, all the way back over here, is that I did lose my pumpkins. There's our famous horses. I did lose those three pumpkins that I found. The first pumpkins I find in Minecraft. Oh, that was cool. I didn't expect that extra jump there at the beginning. But I did lose those first... Those first pumpkins of mine. I'm so... Yeah. Yeah, I know where you got that slime ball. It's sitting right over there. Yeah. I hate you. Just leave me alone. I think they're still just a little bit too loud. Put them at light. Put them at eat. So I know I went this direction 
because like I said, there was a slime bulk sitting over here. This root forest is about the time I said, what the heck, why is there still root forest over here? Um, some sheep. I also lost my bed. Oh, there's some experience down here. Is this mine? Hey, look at all that. Found my w items and they're all underwater. Uh, of course they're all. Eh, another slime ball. So <laughs> I guess there's my pumpkins. Get my pumpkins. Yeah. So, I mean, at least I guess I do get one slime ball out of all this. I will still stay another night here to see if I can get another slime ball. Or not another one, but quite a few, hopefully. So, uh, I'm going to see if I can find a thicker part of land in this swamp. Because it all seems to, it seems to be very breaky. Um, I can't really find a solid chunk around here anywhere. So I'm going to find a solid chunk. Which, I mean, this looks pretty good. Looks like I can get over there fairly easily. It looks like the swamp kind of goes off for a while. So I do have quite a bit of room to run around here. So I'm going to go ahead and jump forward until it's nighttime. And I'll see you when we start the slime hunting. Alright guys, we're here. I'm going to go ahead and set up the bed. And just click on it real quick and leave so that uh, if I do die again um, I won't just be stuck here or I actually I will be stuck here I won't be sent all the way back to my house is that an enderman? we already got enderman enderman before anything else that's gotta be a good sign I'm gonna get raped by enderman this time um, so hopefully we get some slime spawning here soon we do still have a fairly full freaking moon wherever it is. Ah! Like that, that wasn't good. That was not good at all. So we do have a fairly full moon here. So hopefully we get some slimes. Oh, oh, did I piss you off? Uh, he just seems angry. I don't think he's gonna attack me though. So, this will be good for all the experience that I just lost by... Dying via a skeleton. Not really hard time not looking at all of these Endermen because they are everywhere. It's like four Endermen around me. It's kind of terrifying. Killing my grass box and stuff, guys. Oh, oh, you're helping me build, huh? You're gonna help me build. Skeleton, skeleton. So I want to take some of my dirt here. Yeah, go now. <laughs> Hopefully, you can get this enchanted bow for me, which I did not get. But the bones are always nice. So are arrows. Still no slimes though. There's this this swamp has a problem spawning the slimes. It's supposed to spawn. Thank you, God. Oh, oh, vines are kind of sucky. Yeah. Taking down mobs like a boss. Not really. I have absolutely no room to speak. I just got done dying. Where are the slimes, man? We also do have to be between level 50 and 70, so we should be fine in this area. It's at 68, so maybe we'll try going a little lower. We'll try going over here this way. Oh. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get off. Get back. Get back. Still no slimes, man. Screw you, skeleton. So I'm so done with you. Freaking done with you. <laughs> I can't keep sitting there trying to place blocks versus a skeleton. You didn't follow me. 
me for freaking everything to be okay. Zero slime edge here, guys. It's really disappointing me. Alright, well. Hopefully, I can stay alive here, guys. <laughs> Not a big deal and stuff like that, though. Um, but hopefully, I can stay alive long enough to at least find some slimes. Um, with the rate that they're spawning right now. I'm not really looking to try and find too many, I mean, it doesn't really look like I could find too many. This is a little bogus, so hopefully nothing too exciting happens, hopefully I don't die again. Um, this video until we can find some slimes, if we can find some slimes, and hopefully, uh, once again, hopefully, I will see you guys then. Okay guys, well, as you can see, it is daylight now, um, I still have not found any slimes, and, well, I've run out of food at this point, so, I have no idea were we stuck? Well, any of our stuff. Uh, I think I'll start by trying to find my bed. Wherever I might have left that. And then hopefully our furnace. Um, and I'll grab some more food. Oh my god, it's a witch. Really, I don't have the time to deal with the witch right now. I, I have no food. I'm low on health. They throw mean potions. I'm just... That's cool, though. Nice to see that the witches are finally spawning naturally. Is he right next to my bed? That's my bed over there. God, he's right next to my bed. How mean, how rude. Okay, so we're gonna go off. And really, I'm just, I'm probably gonna go back. I'm gonna destroy some of these dark oak trees. Um, wait till nighttime again. And I guess I will start this up when I eventually manage to find slimes so hopefully that won't be too long here i will catch you guys then all right guys well we finally found our first big slime and hopefully that guy's not too loud for you guys i don't know if he considers him a hostile or friendly um but uh, we'll find out in the video so this is the first big slime that we managed to find. We gotta be aware of this creeper! I knew he was there. It's okay. Just more worried about the slime. So that is our first big slime that we have managed to find so far. Uh, nothing else yet. I may have picked up a few slime balls from some tiny guys who drowned in the water. But aside from that, we only have six, so probably going to keep going until I can find maybe at least like 18 or so. That, that should be good enough to hold us off for a while. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and keep hunting for these guys. And uh, I guess I will wrap this video. Well, I might not wrap it up. I'll see how long it is. But we may wrap this video up after this, or I may continue with the project I was planning on working on. What the? Shit, guys. Not oh god. Oh my god. I 
pissed off Enderman. I'm dead. <laughs> Why did I piss off the Enderman, guys? Okay. This has been such a brutal disaster. Oh god, why did I piss off the Enderman? We're just gonna... Everything is just gonna start killing us now. Look at this. I'm being massacred and we found a giant slime. But it's too late now. Because I'm gonna die again here, guys. This is so brutal. They are annihilating me. And here we go. Here she come. Oh no, they all left me alone. Looks like they got in a fight with themselves. Okay, so, we're gonna run up here, I'm gonna get all of our items again, guys. Oh, this skeleton's gonna kill me. Okay, here we go, let's try this again, guys. Oh my god, screw the creeper. Oh, this has just turned into such a brutalistic disaster, guys. I don't even know what to say, you guys are probably face palming and denying ever knowing me right now, but <laughs> I just gotta get over here and try to get my items. Um, <laughs> like I said, I won't include you guys with too much more of this torture. Not this torture, I don't have a sword, do I have a sword? Just die. So we got four slime balls now. Uh, pumpkins are in our chest back there, so at least that's a good thing. Did I pick up my meat? Oh my god, I got my meat. So those are some of the most important things we need here. Hopefully I can get enough slimes off just these guys that are around here. This is so utterly ridiculous. I never expected this. Honestly, I really expected to be able to hold my own. Um, this is just brutal. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> These guys just don't live in the swamp. Just don't. It's not worth it. Is that just this guy over here? Is he, is he the one drowning? So, hopefully, we can get plenty of slime balls off of these guys. Okay. So, we have 14 slime balls, that's four less than I said I would come here for. Um, oh, I can't eat. Oh, and we have another one. Of course, they all spawn, like, in the early morning. Not, not late at night. Not when I'm out here dealing with all the hostiles. No. But we're gonna spawn when it is absolutely useless. So much effort wasted. I wanted to be all cool. I wanted to do it during the full moon so that we could just run over here and we wouldn't have to worry about, you know, running into many, into too many mobs because we'd find a slime right off the bat. <laughs> but apparently that's Shh. Be quiet, you stupid slime. God, those big ones are so slime of s or the sound of slimes and it just it drives me nuts okay so now that we've got that guy we do have 33 which is plenty more than i said i would come here for so we're just gonna get the heck out of here that was i don't know i have to say that's like one of the most brutal ass beatings that i have ever gotten in minecraft that was just freaking ridiculous I hate this swamp. I'm never coming back to this swamp. Ever. I got my slimes. I'm done. If I need slimes, I'll go dig in the ground for slimes. Uh, I'm just done with slimes. So, <laughs> we do have 33 now. We can uh, go ahead and head back and do what we need to do back at the house. So, I'll catch up with you guys back there. Where... We're actually kind of safe. So guys, we are back home where we clearly belong because we just got...
got done being annihilated. Um, I went ahead, took some of our slime balls and some of our string, and I made some leads because that is going to help us here on our next project, which is what we will be working on right over here. Now, I have all of the items set up for this four chests, water and lava bucket, one hopper, sign, and some cobblestone, and a couple of stairs, which, uh, really is just kind of for my own my own OCDs if you do say so uh, this design here is based off of mumbo jumbo's design for his auto uh, steak harvester uh, compact and efficient so we're just going to start off by placing our double chest putting some walls up here and then placing our hopper going in here so from this hopper right here uh, technically this block does also count so you're gonna go three across so we're gonna do this length by five long so one two three four five and so this is the actual size of uh, the design that mumbo jumbo uses now he has a piston in here and some other work I just kind of made something that would work all right for uh, my purposes I don't really need anything you know too nifty uh, I don't need to waste too much energy uh, like I said I'm just kind of running out of food at this point so you can place that's not the way I want those so we're gonna place some stairs right here <coughs> um, just so it looks flush uh, on this outside but we'll still be able to open our chest here uh, without a problem so uh, that is one change that I made I believe uh, Mumbo's design is one lower so just go ahead and fill this all in and what we would do is we would place one block here and we'll place our sign down here we can go ahead and do that right now doesn't really matter um, and we will put lava right here, a piece of cobblestone, and then water down here at the bottom. Now we need to get some cows in here and get them breeding. Because um, once we have some cows right here, then what we'll be able to do is we'll just be able to come up our stairs right here. Uh, I will have a chest full of wheat just kind of at the available. And there will be a whole bunch of cows right here. Uh, just kind of bouncing in a uh, water block uh, and when you come up and you use the weed on them to have them breed the baby cows are actually only one tall so they will travel underneath this block and be pushed over to this hopper where above it we will have some lava and um, so they'll just kind of sit there until they mature and become full grown cows at which point their block size will heighten and they will be forced up into the lava which will burn them, cook the meat, uh, kill them, drop all the items which will go into our hopper and be dispensed out into our chest. So what I'm going to do now is there are some cows just right over here also what I did is I did remember to grab those dark oak saplings so I do have some trees here uh, ready I don't know if those trees will grow without bone meal or not but we'll go ahead and find out if we need some bone meal it won't be too hard to find so apparently this is just this is where the, all the mobs hang out so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and grab some of these cows I'm gonna try and pull them over there and fit them into that tiny little area uh, I may have to use like some pistons or something to get them into the one by block one by one by two block space so I'm gonna have to get them in there and then I will continue this video when um, we have enough of those cows that I can go ahead and do a demonstration on this real quick alright guys so it's been a couple of days here now and I've been breeding cows like crazy with chopping down a lot of our doke, or dark oak trees over here, which uh, the saplings on these do, do not help regenerate as fast. Uh, since you need four, they are kind of harder to get 
So that does actually happen. As you come closer, you can actually hear all these cows. Uh, if we were to turn the volume down on them, I'll just turn them off for right now. Um, so I've been harvesting a lot of this dark oak wood, like a lot. And so we should have plenty of cows up here now. Um, I wanted enough that I could basically sit here and waste at least a full half stack on these guys. So I'm going to go ahead and hold this down. Just kind of move it around on these guys. Uh, it doesn't look like they're moving, but they're bouncing up and down. There's actually quite a few here. Definitely more than 28. Okay. So we're up to 34. 32, sorry. 34 in there. So we have at least 34... If not 36, can we get the 36th in there? Maybe. Ah, oh well, that's good. Uh, we got XP flying out at us. So what we're going to go ahead and do is, we still have our sign right here. I'm just going to go ahead and break this one cobblestone block right here. See all of our baby cows come flooding in here. There's our XP. Um, we will be able to collect that XP. Uh, out there by our chest when we do decide to breed these guys if we don't just collect it right here. So now that those guys are all nice and uh, pushed over to the side from here, we're just going to stick some lava right here. And uh, I do have the sound turned off, but they aren't burning right now. Don't worry. They're, they're not just lit up in flames. Uh, and, oh yeah, and I did go and make this a lot prettier looking. I don't think it was this pretty the last time that uh, I was recording over here. So I went ahead and took some of that dark oak wood and made a floor. We have torches underneath this, these leaves. Uh, two down from here we have a torch because I couldn't drill sideways on this side. Otherwise I would go into our little mechanics over here. And there is a torch under here along with... Um, one torch here, another one here, all blocked off by grass, and then a torch here, and a torch here behind all these leaves. And that's just to keep kind of the area around here all lit up. And also along with our dark oak wood, uh, I have been collecting a lot of pumpkins. Um, but I'll show you what that is for in a second. Um, but so we do have quite a few baby cows under there now, so I'm going to go ahead and let this run for about another day until they grow up and kill themselves. So let's go and check this chest. Oh, I'm honestly not sure how this here happened, actually. But we shouldn't have that in there, so we'll go ahead and just take that out. So we already got some food and whatnot. Um, let's check it says we have about 70 entities in front of us and we have a lot of cows right there um, most of them are probably for our breeding um, so that's all empty and I will catch you guys in uh, another day or two in here and hopefully we'll have plenty of meat alright guys what is up we are back it's been about a uh, day and a half since we were just here and so we're gonna go ahead and check to see just how much food has managed to collect in our chest awesome so we have 33 steaks and 12 leather which is awesome for just uh, like a day um, I'm already completely out of wheat um, or I would show you guys uh, the experience trick which is that when you do breed these cows it does give off experience but uh, I'm not sure if it would normally pass through a one solid block but since these are kind of reverse stairs right here we are able to just walk up to this block and collect all of our X SP, SP, XP uh, so if I have some wheat, I'll go ahead and show that to you guys next time, but already an awesome amount of food that we've got stacked up here, along with the leather, which is going to help us out tremendously when we get around to our enchantment table, and since it 
this video is probably going to be uploaded on the wonderful turkey day I wanted to celebrate with you guys uh, since we did just find our pumpkins here today I wanted to go ahead, go ahead and celebrate with you guys by eating some pumpkin pie and saying thank you for watching zombie wobbles survival let's play and I can't eat right now or I totally would it's all right uh, I'll eat I'll eat tomorrow and it's all it's okay I'll, I'll be fat tomorrow I'll, I'll be fat with you guys uh, hopefully you guys are getting fat <laughs> but uh, hopefully you can uh, sit that fatness out by watching my ne next episode right after this. We'll catch you guys later.